Are you serious? Are you serious? The zombie apocalypse, or at least that's what we've been talking about. I wrote a book about it uh, uh, that shows you all the demonic activity that zombie, this, this demonic craze is. And then I did a DVD two years ago called Zombie Apocalypse 2. Well, guys, I'm telling you now, it's a zombie awakening. Literally. It's awoken. It is, it is spreading. We've got a situation. I mean, we just had a naked guy climb into the 150-foot power tower at the top of it, screaming at the top of his lungs. He's going to kill himself and eat people's children. Uh, but now we have a situation. A naked man running crazy through the neighborhood, just murdered three people and a dog, and then attacked a church uh, custodian, uh, threatened the police. It's been insane. It happened in Virginia. This, this unbelievable, this guy's possessed, guys. He's possessed with the demons. You don't understand. This is what Legion had. Legion was naked. Legion had superhuman strength. This guy kills three people, and then tries to attack the police, does eventually attack the police, actually scares off a police dog. Um, I don't know what, what to say. In Pittsburgh County, Sheriff's Office says that Matthew Bernard, an 18-year-old, is a suspect in the death of two women and a child. The Sheriff's Office said the suspect and the victims were all related. Virginia Sheriff deputies uh, today arrested this Naked man wanted in connection to triple homicide that left two women and a child dead and a dog. Uh, before he was arrested, Matthew Bernard, age 18, ran at a reporter who was on the scene and he was maced. It didn't phase him. He was pepper sprayed, no reaction, by an officer. He choked a church caretaker, a church custodian, when he ran in, down into the church parking lot, there was a man pulled up at a church, was getting ready to go in to clean the church. He ran over and choked this guy um, in front of the police officer. This is all captured on video, and I actually watched it and just said, I can't believe uh, what's going on here. The police officer chases, chases him, but he can't catch him. Then at one point, the naked man turns and charges the police officer and the officer with a, with all SWAT gear on and a, and, a, and a large assault rifle, instead of apprehending the guy, takes off running away from the guy as if he's, he's afraid. He could, sense, he could sense the danger. He could sense the demons. He ran. Now, uh, this video was shared on WSET. Uh, Bernard is seen running at the officers. The officer then turns and runs away in fear. Now, the officer eventually sprays him with more mace, uh, but it doesn't phase him. Uh, then the video cuts away for a moment. Bernard is next seen running at another person. This is the custo another guy who begins to choke this guy. This guy was the caretaker of the church. So he goes back over there and chokes him, has him in a chokehold. After he does that, um, the Pennsylvania County Sheriff's officers, okay, so this guy's by himself, one cop, uh, an investigator named Devin Taylor. He said, uh, he began to talk about it. He said that the Pittsburgh County public safety, uh, he said citizens needed to be on the lookout. Bernard was armed with a rifle, very dangerous. But now, the tailor then said deputies responded to a 911 call yesterday and arrived to find a woman dead at the scene, okay? This is how they know he killed this guy. So there was already people had been calling in to 911 saying, look, there's a guy, he's crazy, man. He's got a rifle, he's naked, he's nuts. When the, when the officers arrived at the scene, they find out that this a woman is already dead, uh, and then they find out these two victims were the wife and child of Blake Bivens, who's a double-A pitcher in the Tampa Bay Rays organization. The guy's a professional baseball player who plays in double-A, but while he's out playing baseball, his wife and baby are murdered, okay, by this crazy naked guy running through the community. So, uh, are you serious? 
It's demon possession, guys. Demon possession. Nobody does this. We're not going to tell you who the names of the deceased are. Uh, they're being held right now till everybody gets notified. But we can tell you that they was uh, this guy's a professional baseball player that, whose family has been murdered, his wife and his child. Another woman, a neighbor woman, is then also found dead in the driveway. So she must have heard what was going on. Went out into the driveway. He ran over. He murdered her. And then he tries to choke and kill the church custodian in the parking lot. But he can't get to do that because that cop has got a gun on him. But why this police officer didn't just go ahead and wound him and take him down, I don't know uh, what he was thinking. And then when the guy runs at the police officer, the cop runs away. It was as if the cop knew this thing, that, that he was dealing with something Beyond human strength, he was dealing with something so dark, so demonic, so insane that he was afraid. Now, finally, this man runs down this down the road. Cop can't catch him on foot, but then a bunch of other police pull up, block the road. They send out a dog, an attack dog. Get this. The dog attacks him. He grabs the dog, and the dog runs away. I've never seen anything like this. The dog doesn't want to deal with this guy. It's as if it sensed there was something seriously wrong. Then the guy shoots into the woods and the police then go in after him and finally apprehend him. It took several cops. I mean, this is un bizarre, but not really. If you, if you read my first book, Zombie Apocalypse, where I give you 35 accounts of this kind of superhuman strength. These are demon-possessed people. Uh, or, or they're certainly sh uh, that, uh, that have that usually are naked. They usually carry Bibles with them, or they or they're quoting scripture, or in this case, choking people in the church parking lot. Um, they usually eat people, or eat or bite on people. And he might have done it. I uh, I don't know if he bit the people he killed, or if he bit the dog. He killed a dog too inside that house. He kills two women, a child, and a dog. Tries to choke. The church uh, janitor has so much, and this guy, I mean, and this guy's sitting there with a gun this big, and he, don't, he doesn't wound him or bring him down. Instead, he runs away from him because whatever possesses this guy is so demonic that the officer runs away, that the police attack dog runs away. What? No, I better not yell, okay? I'm just saying. Are you serious? We're living in the last days, and this is why... I'm coming out with a brand new DVD. I just did a television show on the zombie awakening. It's amazing that I did that yesterday, and then I find out this morning that here we go again, another zombie case. So be looking for my brand new DVD coming out very soon called The Zombie Awakening. It's coming back.